laughing. Nice to see everybody there. Wow, who do we have today? We have teacher Michelle, we have Zara. Hi, Zarif, how are you doing? Yeah, all right, and then we have Joanne. Then we have Emma and Nadia. There you go. Who is that behind you? Is that your little, little Mimi? Wow, she looks so big. Look, she looks like she's very sleepy, yeah. Right? Okay, and then we have Chevelle and Rochelle. I know you too. I've seen you before. And then also we have Candice, and we have Megan, and we have Amar Farish. Okay, and then we have, hmm, who do we have? Who else do we have here? We have Angel, we have Teacher Man, we have Teacher Andy, we have Joam Tiong as well. All right. Okay. So we're almost ready to start. Make sure that you have your toothbrushes there for later. Okay. We're going to have you have some toothbrushes later. Okay. Yeah. So make sure that they're right beside you. Okay. And if you need any help, from mommy or daddy, don't hesitate to ask them. Okay, you can always put your hand and say, Mama, help me. What? Who is that, Zara and Zarif? That's your new idea. Wow. He is so big now. All right. Right. Okay. So, is everybody ready? Put your hands up. We're going to start in like maybe two minutes. Okay, we're going to give a few more people some time to get ready. Okay. Can you show me your toothbrush? Where's your toothbrush? I have my toothbrush here. Very good. All right. Well done, Candice. Great job. There you go. Chevelle and Rochelle have theirs. Joanne. Joanne, why is yours so big? The other one is so big. The handle is so cute. It's like got rabbit ears, right? And then, oh, Zara has a blue one. Nadia has a blue one. And Emma has a pink one, right? Yeah. All right. Who else? Okay, very good. Thank you for bringing yours. Wow, is that an electric one? Candice, is that an electric toothbrush? Wow, so all you need to do is just put it on your teeth and then do nothing. Just keep it there, right? Or do you have to move it up and down? <laughs> then you have to move it up and down still, right? Okay, very good. Okay, one more minute left. We're just going to give some people some chances. Oi, it's Irfan again. Hello, Irfan. How are you doing, buddy boy? Nice to see you again. Right, very good. Yes, Joanne is waving as well. Hi, Joanne. Okay, who else? We have Azura. There you go. We have Princess. What? We have a princess here. We have a princess. A Disney princess, I think. Disney princess, Princess Keisha. All right, there is a princess there. Um, hmm. Who else? Oh, we have Hannah there. Who else do we have? Oh, there is Mommy Joanne. There you go. Very good. All right. Who else do we have? Right. There you go. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So if you just came in, don't forget you need a toothbrush in a little while. Okay. We need your toothbrush. And then you will need some Norwex bath cloths okay so some of you may have it at home all right so just keep that ready because teacher michelle is going to teach us something a little later on okay all right oh sinru is here hi sinru nice to see you again right very good okie dokie all right so wait joanne wow you are very fast you already put your mask underneath your chin Wow, I think Joanne knows what we're going to do next. All right, so if everybody, Joanne's, Joanne's mask is right underneath her chinny chin chin. All right, so are you guys ready? What does yes, Mr. Joseph say? What? Yes, yes, you can. Uh, is that a body cloth? Make sure it's not a dishwashing cloth, okay? Yes, <laughs> Right, very good. Okay, because if you put a dishcloth there, uh, your face is not a dish. 
a, a plate or a, a, um, a bottle or a bowl, okay? Your face is part of your body. Okay, so everybody, are you ready? Okay, oh, thank you, Princess Keisha. Ready, here we go. Three, two, one. Tiny heroes, unite. Go, one. Two, and very good, and three, unite. Very good. Well done. I love that you guys still remember your mask. Very good. Always keep it on, especially now, right? Okay, especially now that the numbers are going a little bit higher than yesterday. Okay, every day they go up a little bit higher. So we must hope that all these numbers go down. All right. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for putting your mask on and keeping it right beside you just in case you need to go outside. All right. So let's get down to business. All right. So before we start, me, Teacher Joseph, along with Teacher Michelle, want to call you by your cool name. So make sure that you change your name and put your name on the screen, okay? Later, when you want to do something cool, I might call your mommy or daddy's name if your mommy or daddy's name is on the screen, okay? And, all right, you can change your name into any name that you want, okay? Just make sure that you don't forget. Now, we would also love to hear your awesome voices, okay? But then all you need to do is just raise your hand or better yet, I want you to type in the chat room okay in the chat box you can do that and type in your answers okay today i think we have several quizzes today so let's see if you guys know the answers okay i made them a little bit hard hmm. let's see if you guys will remember it okay and then third one is i want to encourage you of course to answer my question so if again you have any answers or questions please type it in the box all right make sure um, you keep your uh, mics on mute. All right. So is everybody ready? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Nice. All right. Now let's begin. All right. Now, first of all, who is on holiday? Who is on holiday? I... Is everybody finished on holiday? Yes. Right. Very good. Thank you for raising your hand. Everybody is still on holiday, but I think Everybody goes back to school starting Monday, right? Everybody goes back Monday. to school. Right? Yes, correct. Okay. Oh, Curtis is here. Now, also, who remembers what topic we did last month? Who remembers? Okay, Curtis, can you answer? The ecosystem. Mm, almost. That was like two months ago. You've got a good memory. Hmm, try again. What was last month's? Let me give you a clue. Eating healthy. What? That's correct. Well done, Curtis. That is correct. Eating healthy. Not me. Not me. Not me. That's right. Who, 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 who answered? If it's not, not Curtis, not who me, answered me? me? Who? Tell me your name. I cannot see you. Huh? Oh, here. Fun. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So we did, uh, we, we learned all about healthy eating, right? Having a balanced diet, eating healthy and staying nice and strong, right? Correct though? Balanced diet. Well done. Now, so we did a, plate. a balanced diet. That's right. You must always have a balanced diet, eat vegetables and fruits, right? And then eat carbohydrates, eat some meat, right? And then, of course, you have to have some milk, all right, or some water even, okay? Now, hmm, what are we going to learn today? Who knows what we're going to go and learn today? Do you know? Out of the, did you see the posters that we sent you? Your, Do you know what, what we're going to focus on today? Your hygiene. Right. So, oh, hygiene. who said hygiene? Me? That is right. Irfan again? Wow, you know all the answers, man. Okay, yes. You are correct, okay? Now, one of the things that you must continue to do even if you're not going to school is maintain cleanliness, right? And keep yourself looking smart and tidy. Now, what if 
teacher Joseph went into class and then his hair is all over like this. Is that nice? No. I don't think so, right? So you must always keep your hair nice and tidy, your shirt nice and straight, okay? Your buttons nice and buttoned up, all right? Now, I bet you're thinking, why should we bother about keeping my yourselves clean? Since I'm not at school, my teachers and my prefects won't be able to check on me. Now, is that correct? I don't think so, right? So we always have to make sure we're clean and tidy, like I said earlier, right? Now, your teacher and your classmates can still see you on Zoom, right? Now, you want to look ready and alert when you appear on your computer screen, yes? Okay, and what's even more important is that you know that COVID, the COVID virus is still lurking around and the germs can still be found everywhere. So being clean helps us to keep those nasty germs, bacteria, and viruses away, away, away. Now, that means you will still have to follow your everyday cleaning yourself routine. That's called practicing good personal hygiene. And it doesn't matter whether you are in school or in the house, okay? Now, because once germs invade your body, they snuggle in for a long stay. Sometimes they stay underneath your armpit in between your legs, all right, on your back, in your neck, okay? Now, that means you still have to clean, right? Yeah? Now, they gobble up nutrients and energy that produce toxins, and they act like poisons as well. Those toxins can cause infections like fevers, sniffles, rashes, itchy, coughing, <coughs> vomiting, and... What else? Diarrhea or having a having a um, 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 an aching belly, right? Now, furthermore, we can spread those germs to other people, and we don't want to spread those germs to other people. So today we will be talking about personal hygiene, how to best keep yourself clean and see what happens if you don't. Now, are you guys ready for our first quiz? Yes? Tell me yes. Can you give me a thumbs up? Well done. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay. Hopefully everybody gives me a thumbs up. Joanne is doing this. Woo, 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 woo. Okay. Very good. Sinru is doing this. Candice is doing this. And then doing this. Right? An imaginary mask. Okay. So, first question. Okay. Let's see. Which one is a good habit? A, licking your finger. B, not covering your mouth when you cough. <laughs> C, cutting your nails. D, biting your nails. Can you type that in? What is the answer? Which one is a good habit? Uh, cutting Ooh, your I nails. See... Oh, I see lots of C. Well done. Let's see. Yes, that's right. I think Curtis said cutting your nails. Well done. Who answered? See, give me a raised hand. Can you raise your hand? Yes. Well done. Great job. That is correct. Good job. C, cutting your nails is a very, very good habit. Okay. Now, I have a question. Now, here, I have a question. Should we cut our nails using our teeth or using a clipper? A clipper. Uh, Clipper. Who, who said clipper? clipper? Very good. We must always use a clipper. That's right. Yes, Princess Keisha? A clipper? Yes? Or oh, biting your nails? Clipper. clipper. A clipper. Well done. Great job. I love that answer. Okay, now, number two question. Number two question. Okay, ready? How long should we wash our hands? A, 2,000 seconds. B, two seconds. C, 200 seconds. Or D, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Who, who said, who said, who said? Make sure, yes. type it in. Yes. What? Yes. Who said C? Okay, there is D, 20 seconds. C, yes. 200 seconds. The answer is letter D. See, you must clean your hands for 20 seconds. So you must, you cannot clean your hands one, two, and then finish and then wipe all over your body, right? Okay, 
you should be at least 20 seconds and it should not be 20 or 2000 seconds or else you'll end up cleaning the whole day all right and then we'll end up wasting water and remember um a few months ago we learned about conservation of water yeah so don't forget 20 seconds at least to wash your hands okay now thank you for answering the correct one letter d third question here we go what can we use to clean our hands? A, soap. B, hand sanitizer. C, wet wipes. Or D, all of the above. Ready? Oop, I see some letter A's. Very good. I see some letter B's, some letter C's, some letter D's. What do you B. think is the answer? B. Woo! C, somebody answered C. That's right. Mm. E. That can be correct as well. All right. What is the answer? Cha-ching! Go! All of the above. You must use all of those things. So everybody is correct, right? So if you said A, yes, you're correct. But you know what? You can also use a hand sanitizer and you can also use wet wipes. Uh. If you said B, you can use soap and wet wipes. And if you said C, you can use soap and hand sanitizer. But if you answer D, well done. Because you have, you can use everything, all of those items, right? Okay. Who got three answers correct? Can you raise your hand? Who got three answers correct? Yes, Lucian, did you get everything correct? Yes? Well done. Great job, Megan. Okie doke. Ow! Look at Abar. He is inside the... Uh, swimming pool. Wow, so nice. Take class in the swimming pool some more. All right. Now, I am going to explain to you guys what personal hygiene is, okay? And positive body image, okay? I want you to talk about um, some of these things if you haven't learned about it in school, all right? About personal cleanliness. Do you know what they are? Hmm? I'm sure you do, but let's go over it again. Okay, there's quite a lot. I have six items over here. Okay, one, wash hands regularly. Correct or not? Yes? Yeah? All right. Now, two, wear a clean uniform every day. Yes? Okay, now, if you're in the house, do you wear um, um, clean clothes or dirty clothes? Since you don't go out of the house, you go like, ah, it's okay. I wore this yesterday. I didn't go out of the house. It's still clean. <laughs> right yeah that's right you must always wear clean clothes okay number three groom your fingernails make sure you always use a nail clipper okay four always wash your hair and keep them tidy and away from your face so if you have long hair okay let me ask candace candace do you have long hair yes right candace has Quite a bit of long hair. That's why she needs to do what? So that it doesn't go in her face. What does she need to do? Put a ponytail. That's right. See, her hair is quite long. So then when she goes to school, she may need to tie that up with a ponytail. All right. Yeah. So keep that in mind when you go to school or when you're in front of the Zoom class. Okay. Now, number five. Um, hmm, let's see. Brush and floss your teeth before going to school. Who brushes their teeth or flosses their teeth? Who does it? Do you do that? Yes? Yeah? Well done. All right. Now, six, use a handkerchief, especially while coughing or sneezing and to wipe away sweat after playing. All right. Now, when you cough, can you do this? <laughs> can you do that? Yes. Yes? Yes. Right. So you can also cough with your elbow in front of your mouth as well, okay? You can do this, or you can use a handkerchief, you can use that, and then, see? And then put it in front of your mouth, okay? Right? Well done, everybody. Okay, now, these rules are good hygiene habits, okay? Routines we follow every day, okay? Especially at the end of the day or after we've been very active or gotten very sweaty and dirty. Now, it doesn't matter if you are home or in school. Again, remember that good hygiene habits can prevent you and 
other people from getting sick. Now, they also help you feel good about your appearance and make you feel confident about yourself. Yes? So it's very important to feel um, that you're confident about yourself. Okay? Right? Now, I'm sure you don't want to be around dirt people. So the same goes for you. People won't want to be around you if you look dirty or smell stinky or is covered with sores and whatnot like rashes and stuff like that, right? So you have to be very careful. Now, if you have allergies, that's a very different thing, right? If you have allergies, that one you cannot control, all right? But you try not to scratch it so it doesn't get infected, okay? Now, let's look at how to carry out these habits in the right way. Okay, we start by taking baths. Who loves to spend time in taking a shower? Who does? Who likes to take a shower? Yes? Well done. Okay, very good. I love to take a shower, especially if it's on a hot day. Now, have you ever stopped to think what happens when you stop bathing? Huh? What happens? Who can tell me what happens when you stop bathing? You get dirty. What do you think? Get dirty, you what get else? Smelly. Oh, yes, you get smelly. What else? And you're just might get some? You get itchy. Yes, you, you might get itchy. itchy. That's right. You'll get the Very virus. Very good. Yes, you might even get the virus. Okay. Now, bathing is an important part of personal hygiene. It protects our body from germs that will cause many diseases like lice infestation when you get lice in your hair right skin problems sometimes and even hair issues like dandruff that's when there's like snow on your shoulders from your hair do you know that yeah so sometimes when you scratch your hair and then something falls on your shoulders right and it looks like snow or white colored stuff that is called dandruff okay it's okay to skip a bath or shower if you are feeling unwell. But mommy and daddy will be able to tell you if that's the case. But generally, you should all shower at least once a day. Okay, at least once a day. Now, you see, once you stop bathing, the first thing you develop is a bad stink. Whoo, phew, all right? Because all kinds of bacteria will build up on your body to create an obnoxious odor, okay? then it will stink, all right? So make sure that it doesn't stink. Yes, who said lice? Oh, yes, that is correct, teacher man. Lice is kutu, okay? All right, we don't want kutu in our hair, all right? Now, how about brown dirty stains that will grow, start growing on your skin? That's right, dirt and dust and other disgusting microbes will start collecting on your skin, creating brown, dirty patches. And it's most likely to happen to parts of your body that produce the most sweat. Your armpits, your neck, your head, behind your ears, okay? Can you look at your seatmate or mommy or daddy's ears if their ears are okay or not? Can you check? Can mommy or daddy check your, your ears if they are clean? Are they all clean? Yeah. Yes. yes? <laughs> Make sure they're nice and clean, okay? Not only that, your scalp will become oily and itchy and your hair will end up in untidy knots, okay? It'll be such a mess, all right? Now, the dirt on your face after a while will give you ugly rashes or pimples. As you get older, you might get some pimples. So it's important to shower at least zero times a day. Am I correct? Three times a Zero day. Times a day. Two times a day. Three times? At least two? Or at least one time three a day. Three times! Okay. Oh, somebody says three times, especially if it's a hot day. All right. And after you've been active right. and you're covered with three sweat, times. you at least you have to take a shower. Okay. Now, I'm sure all of you are doing PE classes online. Who's doing PE classes online? You jump, you I do push am. up. You run in place, jumping jacks, Ashley does it, okay? All right, now, so have you had a good shower after that? Do you take a good shower after that? Yes? 
Yeah. yeah. Right. Very good. Showers and baths can be fun, but you just have to follow some steps. Okay? Teacher Michelle, do you have any ideas on what how we can use Norwex products, the ones that their mommy and daddy has, oh, in taking huh. a bath or a shower properly? Wow. Okay. Can you help me? Um, can you help teach me that? I'm not sure if I know everything. Huh? You sure you don't know how to shower properly? <laughs> okay, I'm not let sure. me show you. Let me show you. Okay. Hi everyone. I'm Teacher Michelle. How are you guys doing? Good. Good, right? Okay. I want to know before I show you how we shower with um some of the Norwex products. Can you tell me how many times do you shower in a day? You can type it in the chat box. You can answer me. How many times do you shower in a day? Two. You can type one, two, somebody three. If you don't shower every day, you put zero. I see if anybody put zero. Do you think at least one time shower a day? How many times? Two. One, two. Some people didn't raise your hand, didn't answer me. I assume that you don't shower. Do you? Two. <laughs> okay, two. So most people we shower one or two times a day. You know? I saw that Curtis answered three just now, right? Curtis, you shower three times a day? Yes? Okay. So... So it doesn't matter how many times you shower a day, but you should at least shower one time a day, okay? I shower once. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. So who needs help from daddy and mommy when you're taking shower? Anybody needs help or you shower on your own? Oh, Emma, Nadia needs a bit of help from mommy, daddy. It's okay, right? Ashley also need a bit of help. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how you can take shower properly so that you can try on your own later, okay? Okay, so when you're getting ready for shower, what do you need, first need to do? When you're getting ready for shower, what do you first need to do? Uh, you have to remove your clothes. clothes. You have to remove your clothes first, right? Okay, once you remove your clothes, remember the clothes don't just throw on the floor, right? You have to put in the Laundry basket. basket, yes. I know that you all are good kids, so you all do that, right? So that mommy, daddy don't have to pick up the clothes from the, from, uh, from the floor after you have thrown it around, right? So now we're getting ready for shower. When you go to the shower, where do we start? Where do you normally start? Do you start from your face? Do you start from what? your leg, your feet? Where, where our body? Okay, normally it's best that we start from the top to bottom, right? So yes. all the soap will go from the top to the bottom. So we always start with your hair, okay? So you can take your shampoo. Okay, first you have to wet your body first, like, huh? you on the pad, make sure your body, your hair is wet. Then you start to wash your hair first, okay? So you can take your shampoo. Imagine this is a shampoo. You can pour it on your hand, your palm. You rub, you foam it. Then you put on your hair. Then you start to wrap. Okay, so remember you can wrap your scalp, wash your hair. If you have long hair, you need a bit more time, right? Joanne, Joanne is learning now, okay. So remember washing your hair. Okay, my hair. My hair is messy. Okay, so washing your hair is not just washing your hair. Remember, you need to wash your scalp. Where is your scalp? The skin here on your head. Okay, so make sure that you wrap, wrap, wrap like that. You wash your scalp, okay? Okay. So after you wash, you rinse. So you're on the tap, water, rinse your hair. Then what do you do? Where do you wash next? You wash your body. Okay, maybe you wash your body. So when you wash your body, how do you start? Ah, normally you will take the soap, then you will do, do, do like that, then you wrap, wrap, wrap like that. Do you do that? I'm going to show you. You, you oh. can try. So ask mommy yes. daddy to get you this. This is a very good product from Norwex. This is actually a kids bath sponge. It's I don't have sponge. it. Ah, I saw um, Amar. Amar got one. Yeah, so I don't have enough money to have it. Sponge. Yeah, I don't have it. <laughs> but this is a very need, nice bath I don't sponge. Have it, I don't need it. Yeah. So okay. So what do you do with this one? You take the I don't have it. Body cloth or body shampoo. Okay, your shower gel. You can pour onto the sponge. You can wet the sponge, you pour onto the sponge. 
you can use this that is like a, a strap here you just put your hand in like that so it can hold the sponge nicely so you won't drop the sponge okay then you start rubbing your body rubbing your, your hand your body your leg remember your armpit uh, your feet okay take out your feet and scrub okay make sure you scrub every part of your body don't miss out any parts okay uh, that is how you clean your body okay then after that you can rinse your body with water okay you can on the tap water and then just rinse your body okay so when you're scrubbing your body it will take a while right because you have like so many body parts to clean so make sure that you turn off the tap first for a while okay so that we don't waste water here right remember water is very precious so it's important that we don't waste water when we shower okay so after that you rinse your body then what else you remove all the soap on your body you are clean already right so we need to dry our body okay but before that i saw somebody took out a cloth we forgot we haven't washed our face so what do we use to wash our face ah i found many of you have you can use like a baby cloth or some of you i saw you have the face and body cloth right yeah, you can use either of these cloths to clean your face. Okay, so you wet the cloth, dry a bit, then you wipe your face properly. Okay, make sure that you clean every part of your face to remove all the dirt on your face. Okay, so that is how you clean your face. Okay, so after we are all clean, we need to dry our body, right? So you need to get a towel, right? Okay, so you get your big towel out. Ah, I have here a Norwex Kids Towel. Oh, I love this towel. You know why? It's so soft and fluffy. So when I come out from the shower, right, I will just wrap myself. <laughs> yeah, Joanne is doing that too, right? Yeah, you wrap myself. Ah, then you feel that it's so warm so that you don't catch cold when you come out from the shower, right? And then I you use the yellow color one. Ah, there are so many colors you can pick, okay? You can choose your favorite color. Then you can just pat dry, pat dry your hair, pat dry your face, pat dry your body, okay? So it absorbs the water on your skin very, very well, okay? Then you are all clean and you smell good and now you can maybe brush your hair, comb your hair nicely and you are all done. Then you know the feeling of after shower, right? You still feel so fresh and so clean, right? Do you enjoy after shower? Do you enjoy shower or not? Sometimes. Sometimes only, ah. So most of the time, yes. Oh. Most of the time, yes. <laughs> most of the time, yes. Okay. I hope everyone enjoy shower, especially this few days is so hot. So make sure that you know you you shower when you to keep your body nice and no not stinky, lah. Okay. So remember, just now teacher Joseph said. You should shower at least once a day so that you don't get smelly and stinky. Okay? Everybody know how to shower already? So you yes. have not tried yourself, then you can get mommy, daddy's help uh, today and tell her that you want to shower on your own. Try on your own. Okay? Okay, back to you, teacher Joseph. Thank you, teacher Michelle. Now, I have a question. If I cannot reach my back, who can clean my back? Ooh, Ooh, you you in the bathroom. Bathroom. All right, very good. Yes, you must ask help if you cannot reach any part of your body, okay? And especially if there is a, um, a little bit of a rash or you have, um, you tripped and then you have a little bit of a gash, right? You have a wound, then maybe mommy and daddy can help you clean that part, okay? Because sometimes it might be very stingy, right? So, um, who has had a wound like that before where they cannot clean because it's very painful? Who has? Yeah? Did you fall on the ground and there it was quite painful? Right? Yeah? So you need a little bit of help, right? Great job. Okay, so thank you, Teacher Michelle, for so much great information. Okay, now, kids, I just want to play a simple game of thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay? And I want to see if you remember what we've talked about so far, okay? Show me a thumbs up if you think what I say is correct. And then if I thumbs down, then that means I said something incorrect, okay? So let's see, quiz time. 
Number one, cover your mouth and nose when you cough or sneeze. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Thumbs up. Everybody's a thumbs up. Let's see. Of course. Well done. Give yourselves a big, big hand. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, now, number two, touch your food right after playing in the dirt. Touch your food while playing after you play in the dirt. And let's see the answer. Whoa, great job, everybody. Well done. Okie dokie. Now, number three, use clean cutleries and plates for your meals. Clean ones. Or maybe you just take the plate there. You don't know who has eaten on it. And then you just eat. Thumbs up. Very good. All right. Very good. So use clean cutleries and plates, okay? Now, number four, bite and chew bits off your nails. Yes, thumbs down. That is very disgusting. Ew, ew. All right, sometimes you take off your socks and then your hands go on your toes and then you straight away put it in your mouth. Is that good? I don't think that's nice. Yucky, yucky. All right. Very good. Now, number five, pick your nose and play with your saliva. Is that good personal hygiene? <laughs> of course not. Well done. Good job, everybody. Good job, tiny heroes. And number six, bathe or bath regularly with soap and pat dry. We just learned about that. Oh, I see some double thumbs. I see two thumbs over there. Whoop, Irfan's got one thumb right next to his head. Well done. Okie dokie. One over here with Ashley, the thumb on the eye. Very good. Well done. Okay, so great job, everybody. Thumbs up. I think everybody got it correct. Everybody got 100%. Okay, now I love how all of you have still remembered so far what we've been learning. Okay, now. Another good hygiene habit is to keep your nails short and clean. In school, teachers and prefects check your nails weekly. Do you have to do the same thing at home? Type in the chat box, yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no. Do you have to do the same thing? Yes? Right. I see lots of yeses. Very good. That is the correct answer. Great job. Okay, now, of course, you have to do it in the house. Okay, you have to do it in the house as well. Okay, now you don't need somebody, you don't need anybody to tell you that, right? Once you see your nails are quite long, then you have to chop them off, right? No, sorry, don't chop them off. You have to clip them off, cut your nails. Okay, now, why don't we take a look at how a fingernail gets dirt in them? Okay, so watch, see my picture, right? Let's start off with how your hands may look like when they are clean and neat. Your hands are clean and nails are short. Can you take a look at your nails? Can somebody tell me whose nails are clean and short? Nice, Candice. I see yours are clean. Nice. Joanne's are clean as well. Curtis's are clean. Very good. Lucian's is clean as well. Megan's is clean. Well done, Emma and Nadia. Amar as well, very good. Nice teacher, Michelle's is as well. Sarah's is clean. Well done, everybody. Shrevel and, Sh and Rochelle and Sinru also very clean. Very good. Now, after one week, our nails get longer. Huh? See? And what do you notice when your nails get longer? What color grows on the edge of your nails? Can you type what? that in? White. White, that's right, right, that's white, yeah? So do you see the middle picture? See, I have the third picture, right? The third picture is there. But do you see the middle picture? It has color white on top of it, yeah? So that means if you see the color white, it means it's time to cut your nails, okay? Now, very good. Yes, teacher Andy, thank you for showing us. Now, after you do that, since we're at home, we might end up playing or drawing on the floor or on the ground. 
where all our feet and dirt go, right? And that's when the nails get black, like in the previous one. Yes? Yeah, the previous picture, it had the black fingernails. That's what happens when you are playing on the floor or scratching your body if it's itchy, right? Yeah? And then after that, mommy and daddy might say, dinner is ready, makan, shifan, right? Yes, correct. So if they say that and then you don't wash your hands, all that dirt goes on to the hot dog. See the girl here, she's eating hot dogs and everything goes on to your food. And I don't think that is quite cool, right? Sometimes if you don't wash and then somebody tells a joke and then you go, <laughs> and then your hands go right next to your mouth, right? Your germs go into the mouth, okay? So that is something that we don't want to happen. Now, what do you think will happen next? Who knows what will happen next? Can you tell me what happens next? And then you will get the virus and bacteria the in you. You will get sick. And you will get the virus. Get Summer eight. Summer eight. That is right. Let's see the next picture. That's right. See? A severe stomach ache. Or hand, foot, and mouth disease. Who knows about the hand, foot, and mouth disease? Who knows? Can you raise your hand up? Can you give me a thumbs up? Yeah? Hmm. Who has had it before? Um, I, I, I hope no, nobody has had it before. Yeah? Because it's quite tough to have it. Some of you might have friends who might have had it. Yeah? Okay? That means probably they didn't take a shower for a day or a few days. Or they forgot to clean their house. Right now, some that is very painful, and I don't want that to happen to anybody. Okay, I don't want that to happen to any of the tiny heroes. Okay, now, does that sound like a great way, way to feel? Do you want to feel that way? It's very painful. No, oh, right? No, it's, no, no, it's no, very no, painful. no, 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 yes, that's right. It can easily go to other other people, right? Yeah? Okay, that is called transmittable. It's a very, very long word, but that just means that it might transfer onto another person very, very fast, okay? Now, so what should you do when you see that your fingernails are long? You should... Cut them! Eat or clippers... Clippers. Use clippers. those clippers. clippers. All right. Now, you should cut them. You should cut them when you notice that they're getting longer and dirt is beginning to gather underneath your nails. Okay. You can ask mommy or daddy to help. Who can help? Uh, who can do their nails? Who can cut their nails all by themselves? Can you show me? A, uh, okay. Candice can. Me. Emma can. Well done. Oh, teacher Michelle can. Oh, Zara can by herself. Well done. All of you, or oh, most of you can do it by yourself. Yes? Okay. Who needs help from mommy and daddy? It's quite tough. Who needs help from mommy and daddy? Yes, I Joanne need help needs on help. The feet. On the feet only. Oh, oh, wow. How about on your left hand? Oh, sorry. On your right hand when you start using your other left hand. Sometimes What I happens? Is it easy? Okay, sometimes yeah, yes, uh, sometimes yes, you might cut yourself, left right? I'm left-handed. Right. Okay, so if you're left-handed, then yes. that means it's easy to cut your right. Yeah? And if you're right-handed, it just means it's easy to cut your left. Right? Okay? Now, don't bite them. Okay? Make sure that you do not bite them because biting them, make, um, that means that you're going to be putting all the dirt into your mouth. Then all the germs will slowly creep into your tummy. And that is gross. Okay, so very good, everybody. We've done showers. We've done all those fingernails. Okay, um, what else? Uh, we've start, We talked about cleaning hands. What do you think is missing in our personal hygiene routine? What is the last one? A major one. What do you think? Brush your teeth. You know? Brushing your teeth. That is correct. Very good. Okay, that is very good. 
Now, another important part of your body that you should not neglect is your teeth. Your teeth help you chew your food, speak properly. So if you take care of them, they help take care of you. Strong, healthy teeth make you grow. Speak, it helps you speak clearly, right? Because if you don't have teeth, they cannot understand the why that coming out of my mouth because I have no more teeth. See? You try? Can you try? Put Hello, your lips I, over your no, mouth. Like this? I, like this? I cannot understand you. I cannot understand. See? It's very Hello. difficult without teeth. Hello. Right? So you must always have your teeth. Okay? Germs grow around your teeth and your gums every day, especially after you eat. The germs that collect in your mouth and go crazy like ants on a picnic. Right? Then germs break down on the food and then you eat into acid. Then hmm, it causes black holes and or cavities in your teeth. Right? Right? So hopefully none of you have cavities in your teeth. Okay? Brushing your teeth helps prevent a clear film of germs. Okay? Now, that's what we call plaque. When you have a clear film of germs, that's what you call plaque. And we don't want that, okay? Because that sticks onto your teeth and it causes a lot of damage, okay? Besides cavities, plaque also causes sore gums or gingivitis. That makes your gums red, swollen, sore, or sometimes your gums bleed. Who wants their gums to bleed? Of course not. That is quite painful, all right? So how do you take care of your teeth properly? Well, it's super easy. First, brush your, your teeth zero times a day. Zero? No. Three times each day. Two times. That's right. You must clean at least two times a day one in the morning one in the afternoon if you want to clean it more go ahead right you can clean it up probably three times because you eat three times a day then maybe you can go and clean your teeth three times a day all right yeah but the important times are when you wake up and before you go to bed now brush towards the center of your mouth okay i will show you this one later all right i have some teeth over here on my table, all right? Brush up and down, and don't forget to brush your tongue, okay? Right, so brush your tongue as well, that one, okay? Now, learn to floss your teeth daily to remove little tiny bits of food trapped between your teeth and the plaque that forms between your teeth and gum line, okay? Now, if you don't floss regularly, the plaque will turn into tartar, and once tartar is formed, it can only be removed by the dentist. Who goes to their dentist? Who visits their dentist? Right? Very good. Candace goes. Princess Keisha goes. Megan oh. goes. Very good. Hannah goes. Go Very good. Sinru the... goes. No, I don't go anymore. Right. That's right. But if you have a really, really sore tooth, very, very sore, I think you can go to the dentist but you just must have a letter, okay? Make sure that you always have a letter, all right? Yes, Hannah also brushes her teeth. Wow, can I see everybody's teeth? Are they nice and clean? Uh, nice! Whoa! Some people have lost their teeth, but that's just because they are growing older and growing bigger. That's why you lost some teeth, but that's okay. That's part of it, yes? All right, now, if you don't floss your teeth regularly, those might turn into tartar, and then tartar, it goes into cavities, okay? Now, third one, try not to eat much sugar. I know that can be hard sometimes, okay? Like sweets, or like cakes, or like candies, okay? Make sure you don't eat too much of that. But remember, these foods have a lot of sugar and create many sugar bugs, which can cause cavities in your teeth. Okay, but remember, healthy, but it's very, who said it's very yummy? Who say? Zara. Ah, yeah, of course it's, my, who said it? Huh? 
why did the towel go on your face? Ay, ay, ay. All right. So make sure that you don't eat too many sweets. Okay. Who likes sweets, by the way? Who likes to eat sweets? You like to eat sweets? Huh? I don't oh, like my. chocolate because very All sweet. All right. You don't like chocolate? All right. Very sweet. What else? Who doesn't? I um, eat, um, I um, eat what's your more than chocolate. Chips more than chocolates. Oh yes. my, those are very salty, I think, right? Okay, so that's the opposite, all right? Yes, okay. Yes, Candice. One, you like sweets? Yes? Oh, 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 oh no. Okay, just must be very careful not to eat too much, okay? Now, kids, can you bring out your toothbrushes now? Watch, I have my tooth. Hello. Ah, uh, uh. <laughs> see, I have my magic tooth, bro. I my 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 my, my yeah. um image uh, my big teeth. All right, see. Okay, now watch. Okay, now remember, you always have to brush your teeth at least two minutes. Okay, you understand? Two minutes, not ten seconds, not five hundred minutes, but. Two minutes, okay? All right, two minutes, okay? Now, after that, okay, after two minutes of brushing your teeth, make sure you don't miss any surfaces. Start with one side of the mouth and then work your way all around the other side of the mouth, okay? You have to go from here to here. And then you can go on the top and then you can go here, all the way to the other side, okay? Yeah, all right, so go from one side to the other side, okay? Now, um, that should allow you not to miss any surfaces, okay? I don't want you to miss any surfaces, okay? Now, make sure that you tilt your toothbrush for at a 45 degree angle. Now, this is a little tough. You need to practice this one, okay? Let me show you. I'm gonna go closer to the camera, okay? But Watch. Is it depending on a toothbrush and then you'll become clean, the teeth? Now, that is a... Who, who, who asked me that? Ashley. Who asked me that? That is a very... Ash, Ashley, why do I see your air con? Ashley, why do I see your air con? Ah, yeah. All right. Oh, there you go. The hand is there. <laughs> very funny, Ashley. Yeah. So, your question is... What again? Can you tell me your question again? Is it depending on toothbrush, then your teeth will be clean? Yes, it depends a lot on your toothbrush. Now, watch. I'm going to bring my toothbrush a little close, okay? You see that? Where is my toothbrush? You see? I see that. Okay. Oh, it's not, it's not too clear. There you go. You see that? Yeah. yeah. So... If your toothbrush is still all straight, all your bristles, all the brushes are all straight, that means your toothbrush is still okay. All right? That means your toothbrush is still okay. But if your toothbrush is already like this, it looks like, like, like this. All right? It goes like that. Okay? It goes and opens up. That means it's not, it's not good anymore. Okay? So usually you'll have to throw that away. All right, I want you to throw it away already and get a new toothbrush. If you see that the, the bristles, the brushes are not straight anymore, okay? And then make sure that you brush your teeth. Look at this, at a 45 degree angle. Where am I? Oh, there am I. There I am. Okay, watch, huh? Look, you have to brush your teeth like this. If you're down, then you brush your teeth at a 45 degree angle like this. Or if your teeth are up, you see, you have to brush like that, okay? Yeah, all right, and then like this, okay? Now, when you brush your teeth, you need to do small wiggles, small wiggles, so round wiggles. Don't brush your teeth like this because you, you won't get your, your, all the plaque and the tartar out of your mouth. So you have to go small round circles, okay? Small wiggles, simple circular motions, okay? small round ones, okay? And then you start from one side to the other side, okay? Now, don't forget to brush the chewing tops of your teeth. So, of course, open your mouth. Uh, inside, like this, see? Open, and then you go over here on top, 
and then here, and then here as well. And then, of course, underneath, you have to clean here and over here and down, okay? The chewing tops of your teeth. Now, also clean your gums at the top and the tops of your tongues, okay? So when you clean your gums, you also have to do this on the red part, see? You have to also try to clean your gums as well, all right? Very good. Oh, look at what Candice is doing. Yes, that's a very good idea. There you go. You see? Let's pretend these are your teeth and these are your gums. That's what Candice is doing, right? Very good. Princess Keisha, don't punch me. Did you just punch me in the face? Ah, yeah. You funny girl. Okay, so remember, brush the gums, all right? And also the tongue, okay? Don't forget to clean the top of the tongue as well. Now, don't forget to rinse your mouth with water to get rid of all the bacteria in your mouth. Also, ask mom to help you with flossing. Now, what is flossing? Some of you might not be doing this yet, but you can do it now. Watch, I'm gonna go get some floss. It's like a string. Okay. I can try, God. See the string? Oh, well done. Who has? Who has? Who, who does that? Ashley. Who flosses? Very good. Curtis, Amar, Ashley. Very good. Okay. And then, Irfan, that is not a floss, la. That is an adapter, la. Ah, yeah. All right. Now, watch. Look. Now, you will floss your teeth. You see this? You will put the little thread. Where is my thread? There you go. And then you have to clean your teeth. Where is it? Can you see it? There you go. All right, see? You see the, 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 the floss? It goes in between the teeth. Can you see that? Yeah, hopefully you can see it. My camera is a little blurry, but hopefully you guys can all see it. I don't have okay, floss. hello. I don't have all right, there you go. See, you can floss it. All right, now if you don't have floss, it's okay. Mommy or daddy can help you. All right. So this is great job, everybody. Well done. All right. Now, do you think you guys can all remember those steps? Those are quite a lot of steps. Can you remember all of those? Yes? Yeah? Now, if you don't, if you can't remember, you can always replay this video on our Facebook page. All right. You just have to ask mommy or daddy. All right. So make sure you brush your teeth for five minutes. Is that correct? My dentist said one minute at least. Mom, one minute. Yes, at least. That's right. At least one oh. minute, right? But you can definitely oh. go to two oh. minutes, right? My dentist said that. Tinro is already clean her teeth already. Yeah, she went. Okay, so make sure you do all of that. Okay, so let's do a quick review. All right, ready. Now, um, how many seconds do you have to wash your hands? 20 seconds. 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 Very good. Well done. All right. How many times do you have to take a bath? Two, Two times today. Two times. One in the morning, Two. one in the yes. night. You. That's, that's what you can do, right? But if you can... If you, if you, um, sometimes there's some water shortage, you have to at least take a shower or a bath at least once, okay? And then ideally, you want to do okay. it twice a day, okay? One in the morning and one in the evening before you go to sleep, okay? And then thirdly, how do you know when you cut your nails? They grow. Your nails are long. Yeah. Nails how are do you know if they're long? White, white color, that's right, okay? Or if the white color already turned into black, <laughs> okay? Make sure to cut your nails, all right? And cut my oh, well done. And cut my great job, great and idea. And nice, and okay, very wonderful, okay? And then last but not the least, Again, how long should you brush your teeth? At least two minutes. Two minutes. And then how many times a day? Two times. Two times. At least two times. When in the day? In the morning, morning and night. Morning, morning and night. Morning and the night. Morning right and before, night. Right before you go to 
sleep. Right? Yes? Okay. Now, well done, everybody. I am so proud of you. Well done. So, we learned a lot of things today, right? All about personal what? Hygiene. Personal? Hygiene. Personal hygiene. Very good. Can everybody give... Right. Can everybody give Teacher Michelle a big, big hand? Woohoo! And can everybody give um, Teacher Joseph a big, big hand? Woohoo! Woo well done. And can everybody give the tiny heroes a big, big hand? Very good. All right. Yay. Well done, everybody. Great job. Okay. So I will want to see you guys next month again. All right. We are going to be learning about something pretty new. Okay. Now, until then, you must always stay safe and healthy. Eat proper diet, always practice proper hygiene so that you do not get sick. Also drink some vitamins if you need some, all right? And make sure mommy and daddy will try to um, um, maybe try to get the vaccine, right? So that you're all safe at home, right? right? So then always wear your mask, wash your hands, right? What else? Just Social? Me. Social distance. All brush right. So let's see. Yes, and brush your teeth, of course. Okay. Now, everybody ready? I want to see if everybody remembers. Okay. Oi. Hey, Candice, take it off first. Lah. Hey, take it off first. Don't start yet. I didn't say anything yet. Oi. Hello. Oi. Irfan. Aya. Okay. Hey, Curtis, I think you didn't take a shower and then until a plant grow on your head. Ah. Oh, yeah. All right. So, is everybody ready? Tiny heroes, unite! Go! Put the mask on the face. And then wash your hands. Hands to the side. And superheroes, you tiny heroes, unite! Very good. Well done, everybody. Bye. See you next month. Stay Bye. safe. Bye bye. 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 Bye.